design for IT manufacturing. There are certain points regarding the IT manufacturing process which we need to discuss. The first thing is about limitations. The traditional manufacturing process have a lot of limitations and this is applicable for both traditional and non-traditional. Traditional means the machining process which we generally use uh, often for manufacturing like lathe, a machine, milling machine, other things. Non-traditional processes which are related to non-traditional machining processes like EBM, uh, wire cutting, uh, EBM, wire, 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 cut, wire cutting <coughs> uh, machine, machines which are used like uh, chemical machining, wire cutting EDM and various others. Now, when the technology is advancing, there are requirements from a design point of view that we should make complicated shapes and traditional machining processes may not be able to give us all the possibilities of making these shapes in an economic way. So the need for making complex shapes which are economic, it is right now, right now it is the time and there are a lot of designers who are moving towards designing products which are uh, complex in design is more ergonomic. So it is not that this machine manufacturing processes, both traditional and non-traditional, cannot make this kind of products. They can. However, these are all a very expensive process if you wanted to go for making it. So that way we need some other technologies and IT manufacturing is one of the way we can achieve this complexity, making the complexity, making the products, uh, complex products is much more cheaper. This traditional machining process, which means that which is include CNC machining. CNC machining, uh, it is much more accurate, but it's talk, lot of tech, it takes a lot of time. So it, let, it takes actually a lot more time to make the product because we need to understand the product, make CNC code and put it in the CNC machine and even then depending upon the complexity of the product we need 5 axis, 7 axis CNC machines and <coughs> this machining process is going to take a lot of time. So time for machining nowadays is something which is very less because companies want to manufacture product faster. So how to enable them to manufacture product faster, especially for complex geometries because smaller geometries which are in, can be done uh, mass produced like injection mold, using injection molding that is much uh, more efficient if we can use uh, mass manufacturing processes like injection molding. However, some of the component which are complicated shape and also batch produced, less number of components need to be manufactured. Then uh, additive manufacturing process is a better uh, solution for this. When we have prototypes, especially when you are designing, prototype is very important. So we need to have prototypes, something like making the prototypes and filling it testing it. This cannot be done directly using AR and VR, the like argumented reality and virtual reality. Partially can be done, but not completely. That's the reason we need something which can be done or which can be felt physically, which can be analyzed physically, which can be, uh, maybe we can do some analysis of the strength and other material properties. And also we can uh, see how the product is on all physically. That's the reason we need some kind of technology which can make and help us to make the product physically. And IT manufacturing process is one such technology which can help us in making the product very fast. New design styles are coming. We need support for that. And when we have 
the narrative and fiction process we need to change the way we are thinking previously previously we are thinking that uh, when you're designing we need to think about manufacturing right but in narrative manufacturing process when you are thinking there are a lot of limitations which are there in traditional manufacturing process are not there so we need to change the way we are thinking so design for manufacturing liberty need a clear thought you need to change a shift and paradigm shift is required from the way we are thinking that is uh, designing when we are designing uh, a product uh, which is traditionally being manufacturing traditional manufacturing process now we are going for design for uh, design within a manufacturing process So the unique capabilities of RIT manufacturing is to enable new opportunities for customization which is very significant to improve the product performance and multifunctional and lower the overall cost. There are such a certain unique capabilities of RIT manufacturing process. One is shape complexity. Shape complexity means it can it is possible to make a really complicated shape using RIT manufacturing process. hierarchical complexity now previously we used to have same kind of material in general but now in the hierarchical complexity there are multi scale structures which can be designed from the microstructure through the geometric mesh structure and and the scale scale up is also possible layered manufacturing is possible uh, using multiple uh, multiple uh, materials using it so all these possibilities are there when we are making using at manufacturing process next is material complexity so traditionally if you want to have multiple layered materials in a product is very difficult but in manufacturing process with at manufacturing process this is quite easy because uh, the same machine can be used to manufacture products using multiple different kinds of material at different layers of manufacturing process functional complexity previously we used to have a product which is having just a component when we are manufacturing and then of course we are assembling multiple components and making a system work but now we have completely freedom complete free lot of freedom is there where functional assemblies and, me and mechanisms can be made compliant mechanisms can be made mechanisms which is very difficult to do manufacture using normal traditional manufacturing process because very small and very thick materials uh, comp uh, component size can be manufactured in the same machine so if you want to go for micro manufacturing process traditionally the machine is different for normal manufacturing the machine is different even though both are cnc but in 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 uh, cnc in am process that is it manufacturing process all these possibilities are there where the same machine can be used for making very small structure to large structure so in the same structure we can have multiple of them now in contrast to dfm that is uh designed for manufacturing with the design for manufacturing if the normal design for manufacturing we are actually making a products but in design for additive manufacturing we are maximizing the product performance using synthesis of the shapes sizes hierarchical uh, structure and then uh, subject to capabilities of an em manufacturing process this is possible because we are making things which are easy to easy for for the designers to uh, think and manufacture because they know now that lot of limitations are gone they can make machines they can make products which are much more complex there are several guidelines which can be used one is that a uh, complex geometry can be made now complex geometry can be made by, by using normal manufacturing process also but in additive manufacturing process the time required to make complex geometries and simple geometries are almost similar 
because it depends upon the amount of material amount of and then the, the shape overall shape overall type of the material and the build volume so the difference will be very less if you want to make a simple product or complex complex products of the shape same same shape whereas in the normal manufacturing process is not like that it is very different and it manufacturing process is enables user of customized geometry for each and every component which you make each and every component can be customized because 3d model may be different so five different components we are making normal traditional manufacturing process it is difficult because you need to change the coding efficiency or in normal manufacturing process you need to know know the and uh, change the process but in additive manufacturing we just change the cad model put the find out the make the steel file which is different from different file different uh, product and then print it so it is possible often to consolidate part we'll see that how multiple parts can be consolidated into one which means that when one product one component may have been made using multiple part in using traditional manufacturing process because that was that was easier to make because casting was easier so we cast different components machine some portion of it assemble it and then you make but in it manufacturing process maybe all these components not required just one simple uh, simple contoured shape component may be enough so that can be done using it manufacturing process it also gives an opportunity to the designer that you we can ignore all the constraints of the conventional manufacturing process and in it manufacturing process the number of constraints which are very less so complex geometries we can make so layer by layer complex geometry we can make but we should also understand that uh, z direction the the strength of the material in the it manufacturing process is different in different directions depending upon the kind of component machining process which we are following that we should understand so complex geometry process when we are making you can make it in it manufacturing process Com customized geometry that i already told that uh, we can change the design in very fast so in uh, integrated assemblies we can make where it manufacturing process is actually enabling integration of features whereas in traditional manufacturing process if you want to do it you have to do it in different different components and assemble it so it is going to reduce the cost a lot of course mass manufacturing using it manufacturing is something which is challenging yet still it is challenging now traditionally this de design for manufacturing has a lot of constraints like you know rectangle slots if you want to make you have to think how can i make so when a designer is giving a rectangular slot in the design he may have tried to avoid it but in additive manufacturing those things are not there so there are much fewer constraints then the design culture where the space is limited that is also we need to the people have to be thinking in different direction now so the design constraints which are there especially when due to manufacturing all these things are gone now the designers are having a lot of freedom to think that we can make complicated shape parts without affecting the cost of the product so this is going to change the way designers are thinking so design thinking when you are using design thinking in it manufacturing process with it manufacturing is going to change the way people are thinking products and how to design it because the manufacturing constraints are all reduced now many of them are reduced so another thing is shape complexity we can have so all these things are possible using it manufacturing process hierarchical complexity we can have that is in terms of hierarchy we can make materials 
functional complexity, material complexity, all these things were possible in IoT manufacturing process now. So now designers will have, will have a possibility of exploring design freedom. Multiple parts are made together. It is much more simplified. So we are seeing a world now where especially in the area of design and manufacturing things are much more simpler and customizable, economic etc. So parts consolidation and redesign. So especially this is important when the low volume production is there. Um, if you want to have more parts, it is going to be expensive. So parts consolidation is something which is important to have. Higher clear structures we can have. Industrial design application, the industrial design things are very different where we need products which are looking beautiful, attractive, which are aesthetics, which means that they are attractive and also ergonomics. It will be suitable for people who are going to use it. And this is possible when we have IT manufacturing with us. Okay, now we will have two examples in which we would learn how part consolidation is going to be an inter important uh, step in this additive manufacturing. So let me draw a example of it. So, so let us imagine there is one part like this which is there, this is the valve one, the down portion of the part This is the other part which is there and it is having some kind of way to screw the part together. Inside there is another component which is going to be like this which is the separator duct this is so this is top portion of the duct and this is bottom and this is the separator. Now this is having lots of components. Immediately this is now we are going to make in IT manufacturing so we don't need to have these components. So here you see a lot of screws will be going up. Okay. So all this requires things are there. So now instead of doing all this, so we can make a single component which is going to be consolidated one. So let me draw that one first.
So in this one, we will see another example and uh, take for example that we are going to have this kind of component let's say this is water hosing pipes and these are junctions these are screwed with respect to each other Your third component is component one. Component two. This component three. Now instead of having so many components and having screws to join it, we can just use a single one, and that is going to be like this, something like this because we are using 3D printing so we don't have to really worry about this So we don't need any junctions and directly we'll get the part like this. So this is component So it is made with NIT manufacturing. So you get the single component like this. Now we'll have another example. Imagine there is one component. is having a hole here so down of it this is made using There is one other one similar to this. And there is one another component is coming like this. And this will be welded in this place. So now instead of having this this one, 
what we can have we can using IT manufacturing we can have instead of all this one we can have single one so you can see from here to here we have one component one component two component three plus welded this is uh, and then in the then we have also nuts and bolts and all these things in this one we have single component So I think you have now learned how easy it is to uh, simplify the design now using IT manufacturing. Now seven principles of IT manufacturing process. First is think creatively. Previously we should think subtractively which means that whenever a component is there we used to think that how can I uh, make this component so uh, let's say I have this component previously I should think that okay I have this rectangular bar and then I'm going to use a method to cut and then whatever is pending whatever is remaining it is a component which means that I need to use a wire cutting medium maybe or a very small uh, very accurate milling machine micro medium micro milling now in IT manufacturing all these things are not required. We have to just use the machine and print it because it is like addition to each other. So the first thing is think creatively, change the way we are thinking. Design for orientation is because uh, in IT manufacturing process the orientation if you change it is going to affect the quality of the product it is going to affect the time of the manufacturing process and also it is going to affect the cost of the manufacturing because if you change the orientation the support material which are required during the manufacturing process it will be different so for some configuration you may not be request support material for some other configuration you may require and then where the strength is required which side the strength which portion which uh, direction the strength is required on that basis you have to orient the process counter design where it means that uh, where we need to we can make counter design that certain portion can be printed with just one or two extension lines and with the extension lines you can really lightweight but strong parts uh, can be made The segment and bonded parts this is you know the another way we can have that if you have bigger product how we can manufacture so make small small products small and then assemble it so that with bond uh, bonded bond so that is possible in IT manufacturing process in other manufacturing process is difficult you can add hardware one can add hardware while manufacturing is going on one can have a uh, add hardware so uh, it will become a more uh, directly uh, a complex product that directly can be made. Minimize complexities means in this we can make the products much more simpler with less material. And critical surface treatment that can also be done. So when we are talking about IT manufacturing process, we should also understand it is not just about some of the some limitations are there, the limitation with respect to CAD model also, CAD systems. So what are the limitations of CAD model, CAD systems? CAD system which is there, PROE, IDS, uh, uni, uh, Unigraphics, UX, uh, uh, NX, SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, uh, Rhino, there are so many software which are available. However, many of the software are not really designed to take care of 
the additive manufacturing process because uh, in a CAD, CAD software, you see, many of you would have used it that if you want to make a really complicated shape, this is sometimes is difficult using CAD, CAD model. It will take a lot of time. Second thing is the material which are there in the CAD system. If you want to make a CAD model with multiple materials or composite materials, it's difficult. Nowadays, recently, people the CAD software are adding this facility. But if you think that there are variation in the material across the product surface, if you want to make that kind of material, if you want to make you want to model that kind of material in the CAD system, that is something which is still difficult. And if the complexity is high, analysis is going to take a lot of time. That's another problem. And the third channel is representing physically based uh, property distribution. And so if you have a pro property distribution of a product across a component from one place to another is varying and different components having same components having different material is made. Okay, then how do man man model it? That is something difficult. There are a lot of challenges there involved in this one. Thank you.